Earlier this week, I showed a picture of my desk that people normally see over on the Productive Pastor community, my Facebook group for ministry leaders. People said how clean my desk was and how much they feel like that would be a workspace that they could get so much done in. Only problem is uh, the desk might be clean, but the rest of my office is an absolute gar hole. And I really need to get that taken care of before I do anything else. So thanks for coming in and sticking around for that part. What I wanna to do today is a little bit different. I'm Chad Brooks, I'm a pastor here in North Louisiana. I make videos about the Bible, about the spiritual life and the everyday goings on of a person in ministry. And what I don't make that many videos is that third part, the everyday going ons of a person in ministry. Now I've got a private Facebook group called the Productive Pastor Community and it is full of hundreds of ministry leaders who talk about the relationship between productivity and ministry and that sort of thing. And a comment came up, a question came up in the group earlier today asking about what kind of bags pastors carry. And the comment thread was really, really interesting. And inside of the comment thread, people started talking about, hey, I'm gonna make a video of my bag and that sort of thing, and I realized you know these kind of bag videos for creators or folks in different industries and the tools they use, that sort of thing? They're fairly common, but what I've never done is like a what's in my bag. And so that's what I wanna to do today. I wanna to talk about what's in my bag. And as we kind of talk about Productive Pastor, what I do wanna tell you real quick is YouTube, my YouTube content is gonna go quiet for a couple of weeks because I am working on releasing another season of that podcast. I'm really excited about it, and I've got a premium product that's gonna go along with it, and I really need to focus in on getting that done so I can get that second, that next season of the podcast going loose. So I'm gonna be kind of quiet for a while, but come hang out with me on my socials at Rev Chad Brooks, um, or you can subscribe to my Monday email list. There's, there's tons of places to hang out. I just won't be hanging out on YouTube for a few weeks as much as I have been lately. So. Let's like jump into the bag. So first, this is my bag. I don't know what it is. My wife gets a bag and a triathlon she does every year for free. And I pretty much just take whatever bag it is each year and I use that. I'll tell you what, I do remember there was a price tag on this bag when she got it. And I looked at it, I was like, man, that's more expensive than I would ever pay for a backpack. But um, that's it, it's like a knapsack. So like the top does the opening thingy instead of the, the zippy outy thingy. And it seems like all the backpacks she gets from that race are that. And you know what? I kind of like it. I'm, I'm a big fan of it. So, um, yeah, so it's it's a, it's a knapsack. It's not a, a rucksack, maybe. That might be the right word for it. It's not a like a zippy out backpack. But it has like a strap that doesn't fit me. So I just keep it tied loose. And yeah, it's a good bag. It's a good bag. So what do I have in my bag? I got a couple of things to start off with. I got a bunch of Bible as metal stickers. Um, and with the whole C19er and stuff, I don't, I'm not wor out working as much as I used to. So uh, this version of my bag is probably fairly boring compared to what it has been in the past. Uh, but yeah, so interesting. Okay, so I've got this. This is my dongle bag. Um, there's gonna be links to almost all this stuff down below to Amazon. Those are affiliate links, but whatever money comes on Amazon gets poured right back in the channel. So that's it. This is these, I've got a bunch of these. I bought these on Amazon. Um, and they're uh, like the size of bank bags, but they're like a heavy, thick canvas. And uh, this is super helpful. So inside of this one, I've got a memory card case. And then I've got just a couple of external hard drives. And then I've got the, if you, if you have a MacBook Pro that's more recent in the last few years, you know that with the whole USB-C thing is frustrating. So I've got a, I've got a dongle in here. Uh, from fall wheat, I guess that's it. This thing's like worked like a champ, unlike other dongles I've had before. I think it was only like $15, it was pretty cheap. It's probably fairly generic, but uh, that's been super helpful. So the next thing in my bag is my Bible, my uh, the 2222 Bible, the Cambridge uh, Insight wide margin hardback, turkey buzzard. So that's there, that's my Bible. The next thing that goes in, oh yeah. So this is my pin case for 
uh, writing in my Bible, Bible journaling, that sort of thing. There's always a link to this whole thing and all the contents and stuff in every uh, uh, list, but uh, it's super, super helpful. I love it a lot, and I've got my Bible journal uh, pens in there. Then I've got like normal everyday use pens. And then I have a couple of fountain pens for when I want to feel extra fancy. So those are there. Next thing that's in my Bible is, oh yeah. So this is Brueggemann's commentary on the Psalms. I've been reading the Psalms devotionally like crazy a lot. And I've decided to kind of just start slowly reading through Brueggemann's commentary on the Psalms I read each morning and each evening as part of the daily office. Uh, the daily office, the Bible reading plan, I like a lot. I'll put a link below about why I think that's one of the best Bible reading plans that's out there. Uh, so you can go check that out. But yeah, I'm carrying that with me. Brueggemann's commentary on the Psalms. Next thing is my journal. This is, I can, I can never pronounce these. Why is it that all journal companies have like hard to pronounce titles? This is a work, a lick term. What is that? It's just gonna focus in on me. Yeah, it's not, okay. It's whatever, that's, it's just so complicated, so hard to say. It's a green one, cause uh, yeah, that's, that's what I got. So no big deal, not a big issue for me. The next thing is, this is my notebook. This is from Murdy. It's an Murdy number one. It's really cool. It has um, loose leaf sheets in there and also some printouts. And it's a three ring binder that uses some kind of Japanese post binding. And so you can take it in and out. This was a little expensive, but I'll tell you what, I only use paper for a couple of very, very specific things. And I always hold it all together in this. Um, I love this thing. This is awesome. It has been my sermon notebook for a while until I went digital on all my sermon prep and that sort of thing. And right now I've been planning out the next season of Productive Pastor and the accompanying workbook for that in this because for some reason that work just really likes to be paper based. So I made some templates, uh, printed them out and just have that going on there. So that's with me all the time. Next is, oh. It's the giant bag of stickers that's been in my backpack for three weeks from the putting stickers on my Bible and that whole video, if you saw that one, that's still in there. Um, what else? There's the charger to my 2016 15 inch MacBook Pro. Um, I bought this computer going up there to get the cheapest 15 inch MacBook Pro because I was gonna have to start doing a lot more video editing and um, I got there at Best Buy and they had this thing, which was an open box return special, but it was like absolutely stacked and loaded out. I don't know the specs. I don't pay attention to specs like that. I don't keep up with that sort of thing, but there was that and, and it's kind of frustrating. It's worked all right. It doesn't like to, it's weird. If it goes dead, it almost refuses to like get charging again. Then once it gets charging, it's great. But it's been a really powerful computer for me. So I carry that with me. I pretty much use that for a handful of tasks that are light level lifting. Um, and then I use it for video editing and that's just about it. So it stays with me really only for those tasks. And I just keep it with me in case I need it. I don't have to you know, go home and grab it. But what I do most of my work with, and there's another video inside of this and I'm gonna, I keep saying about videos I'm gonna make and I'm just gonna have to realize that this is gonna be one. But this is what I do almost all of my work with. And this is a 12.9 inch uh, iPad Pro and it has the Magic Keyboard and it has the Apple Pencil. Guys, I'm a massive fan of this. I do everything. I live in Evernote. I live in GoodNotes 5. I've got other stuff on there. Um, you know, I'm experimenting between Evernote, which I've been on for 10 years, and Notion. Um, this is the computer that I use, unless I'm at my office desk with my big setup there, this is the computer I'm using for 80% of my work. The only thing that stops me from using it more is I, I, I refuse to, use, to let Apple manage my passwords, and I use LastPass, but I'm, I'm sure somebody in the comments is gonna say, hey, there's a workaround for that, Chad. Uh, but that's what I do. So this, this iPad uh, Pro, I mean, I do sermon preparation inside of this. I do, I mean, I do uh, my work notes. 
I have a ton and ton and ton and ton of, of templates set up for sermon preparation, for meeting notes, for strategic planning, all that kind of stuff. If you're here or you've been part of Productive Pastor in that community, which has been going on for years, for a while, you know I have a template thing, and man, the iPad Pro in GoodNotes 5 handles templates like a champ. Just, I absolutely love it. And then, what else do I have? Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Who's on my desk? Just another book that I'm reading. I try to read three books at a time, and always just to have one with me. Um, and so, this is a short little book my dad gave me a couple days ago, and I've been just kind of reading through it. So that's my bag. It's empty now. No, nothing left. So I would love just to see if you're in ministry. Um, I would love to see your bag. And so do me a favor, do a bag video and tag me in it. And let me watch it. Talk about how you work, that sort of thing. I love that conversation. It's super nerdy, but I, I'm here for it. So I'm Chad. I would, if you want, if you like content like this, a subscribe, a hit the bell. If you dig this more like everyday life of a pastor content, hey, say something about it in the comments. That's really cool. I mean, sooner or later, you're gonna get tired of Bible videos and me using the word turkey buzzard. I'm Chad, I've loved hanging out with you. Let me know what's in your bag. I'll see you later.